so Kyle had come up with an idea um, for our students to do for our remote learning. We had uh, writing pieces that our students were working on for the first few weeks and it just felt like a lot of work um, on our end and so we wanted something a little bit um, easier <laughs> for, for ourselves and for students to do. And so Kyle came up with the idea of let's just gather a whole bunch of really cool activities that students could do and give them some choice. Um, and it felt very, very broad, um, which is good for some students, but very overwhelming for others. And so um, we ended up trying to put a little bit more structure to it and ended up with these humanities expeditions. So this is our latest draft. So basically the idea and then what I've got up here is um, we've got this slideshow set up for them that's kind of the overview of the project, um, directions, and then resources all kind of built right in. And the idea is that, uh, well, we've got, we've got one set up for our fifth and sixth graders because um, they're combined for one of our humanities courses. And then there's a different one for the seventh and eighth graders because um, the categories that we're giving them and the resources that we're giving them are differentiated based on um, grade level and skill level. Um, but basically this goes through uh, a quick introduction of here's what this is all about, here's what, where this crazy idea kind of came from and what the purpose is, um, talking to them about the fact that it's going to be a two-week cycle to do each one of these expeditions, the first week being more of an exploration week, and the second week being a chance to um, practice writing skills to reflect on what they learned in the first week. Um, and so then it gets a little bit more into the, the specific steps for each of the weeks here on this slide, just to kind of give them a quick overview of that. So they basically choose a, an expedition, which is a theme. Um, it's a thematic thing for the week. They go in and choose of all the resources that are put in there. Um, they're going to choose three to really explore, or at least three. Um, and then for each one of those, they're going to have a Padlet page that's set up for them where they can go in and just reflect on what they learned from that activity. So for each of the three activities they do in a week, um, they'll have uh, an individual post for each of those activities. And so it's kind of left wide open to them um, as long as they can tell us sort of what it was that they did for their activity. And then if they want to record themselves talking about what they learned, if they want to um, put in some uh, a, a photo of maybe the most important thing that they learned, uh, it's kind of wide open for them. They can do drawing in there. Of course, Padlet has lots of options um, for them to use. And then in the second week, you'll see that it's about writing and revising. Um, you wanna talk about the, the themes, Andrea? Sure. So um, each two week cycle, students will pick a theme for their expedition. So we created six themes. Um, we have two that are specifically for fifth and sixth graders with lower level resources. We have two that are five through eight. So there's a range of levels, a pretty wide range of levels. Um, so that they can be accessible for fifth graders and eighth graders. And then we have two themes that we made with seventh and eighth graders in mind that are a little bit higher levels. And so did you want to open one of those? I can. We yep. can walk through. So the sports one is one of our five through eight themes. And in each theme, we have gathered um, activities in five different categories. So this is our sports expedition. Just some basic. Our, yep. So there, in any expedition, no matter which one you choose, there are going to be at least one short story, at least one article, at least one video, at least one podcast, and one other. Um, and so there, the student's job will be to choose an activity from three of those different categories within this one theme or whichever theme they choose for the week. Do you want to show some of those other slides? Sure. So this one has a link to a short story. It also has the audio. So if students want to listen to it while they're reading, they can do that as well. We have three different articles at different reading levels. Um, 
option A is always the lowest level, option C is the highest level, so that students have an idea of, you know, where they, what would be best for them. Um, we have two different videos that they can choose from. Again, A is a little bit easier than C. Podcast. And then for this one, for our other mediums, we have poetry and we also have a virtual field trip. So students would choose three of those activities if they chose this theme. And in the first week, they would just respond through their Padlet, letting us know what they did. And then the second week, the following week, there would be a writing piece about that. Loving the kind of choose your own adventure feel to this. It's really cool. Really good. Um, just to kind of round out our direction slideshow. So we, we did do a series of samples. They're not quite finished yet um, because we need to put in writing piece samples, but this basically tells them the next few slides here are going to be exactly what you're going to be working with, but here's something that we put together for you. Um, so as they go through um, they can go to a Padlet that I created that has a few examples of what a, a reflection on an activity looks like. Um, we're going to put a writing sample in here um, along with sort of an um, outline template that they can use um, the first draft of their writing piece and then a place for their final draft after we've been able to give them some comments and some feedback. And then down at the bottom is the slides that they are going to use. Same thing, set up exactly the same way, except these will be for them. Um, it is color coded to try to help them understand which slides are for them and which slides are samples, um, just to try to make it as simple as possible because certainly one of the things that we've noticed since this remote learning thing has begun is that directions are tough. <laughs> so we tried to make it as, as um, clear as possible. We are also planning to add some screencasts um, in there as well so that we can walk students through the process. We've been trying to do those videos as often as possible to help students. So those aren't in there yet either, but that's, that will be part of the directions and resources slideshow. Yeah, and so just, so just to be clear, really the only big difference between the fifth and sixth grade one, the seventh and eighth grade one is the, the themes. So you'll notice here we have the animals and heroes themes are specifically for five, six sports in the future or crossover. And then in the seven, eight slideshow, we have the sports and future crossover ones. And then specific to them is social justice and crime. Um, and so that's the only really big difference between the, the project for those two groups of kids. So There will also really be a different writing prompt for seven, eight for the second round. Five, six is still working on basic writing um, skills. So they're gonna have the same prompt but 7-8 is gonna um, have a little bit of a more challenging prompt the second time around once they've experienced this. I'm wondering, I can just really quickly pop over to, this is the Padlet that we set up for them. Um, the prompts for them to use to help guide their reflection are always at the top so um, that they can always find those. And then I just gave them a few different examples. So on Monday, I read a short story I just did a little bit of a writing piece here to show what I um, experienced from that. Excuse the thumbnail there, it's not me at my best, but here it's just saying, I, you know, I watched this, um, this video and here's a, a video of myself reflecting on the video that I watched. And then later in the week on Wednesday, I did this virtual field trip. Here's a couple of facts that I found interesting from going on that. And here's a picture of the zoo that I went to. And then lastly, here's this article that I read and a couple of facts that I learned and a couple of questions that I still have about what I was um, reading about in that article. And so this is just meant to kind of give them an idea of what their Padlet might look like. 